Hi everybody, thanks for stopping by today. I wanted to do a video on the math manipulatives that we use for kindergarten. I have quite a few of different um, things that we've used throughout the year and I thought it might be helpful to anyone that didn't want to buy a giant set of manipulatives what are some of the things that can get you by and that are good enough and just seem to meet every need that we had this year? One of the biggest things that we used were math links. They come in 10 different colors and they're individual blocks that link together and these were fantastic. We used them for counters. They were great when we were working on our 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40. Um, we can use them for patterns. Um, these are great. We use these all the time for all sorts of different things. Two, excuse me, two plus two. And so it's very hands-on, tactile way of learning. And if I only had to have one thing, this would be it. The math linking cubes are absolutely a must have, I feel like, for teaching the early years of math. In addition, a bag of beans. Um, again, great little counters. We can sort them out, um, group them together, and so we can count them easily. You can use counters for anything. You don't have to have a bunch of different sort of special counters. We received this um, set as a gift and we've been using these as counters. And so there are a ton of little shapes in here and we can pull them out and we can three beads plus four beads and just use them in a bunch of different ways. And um, these were just a really great little addition while it's to be made with jewelry, we use them for a math manipulative. We've also used little LOL dolls, if any of you know what those are. They're just little characters, little G.I. Joes, Legos, you know, any of those things. Um, I have this whiteboard, small marker board, and so we would use this a lot with just a marker for, you know, tally marks, and then that way it was a little more relaxed writing um, it's not so precise with the pencil, and so you can easily do different, erase it, put the answers, you know, easy fixes, different, especially when we were doing number bonds, we used these a lot um, for the number bonds because we could just add so many and just erase and not have to waste a bunch of paper. Dice, that was another thing that we used a lot. I have these pretty colored dice, and then we also have just the regular set of dice, but this is something we would roll the number originally and just identify the number that we rolled or who rolled the larger number. Um, lots of things you can do with dice, and most people have some set of dice laying at home, I would think, and so that's another manipulative that you could use. Dominoes, um, another fun manipulative that you can use. They can also fill the pips on it. You can look at it, compare. Is four bigger or is one bigger or four plus one? Um, you don't have to play dominoes. You can use them for different things. What would you have to have to equal three? What would you need in, or put them in order? Um, these can be used a lot when we were doing our math program, which is dimensions math. I have a video about that. Um, there were a domino parking lot, and so you would have to use the domino that equaled a certain number, and you would have to drive the domino into the parking lot. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with dominoes also. I have this large set of dry erase blocks, and we used this multiple times also. There were different times inside our program that it called for making one of these. I already had them, and so you can just write whatever on all sides, roll it, use it. Um, this came with four. I really liked this. We've also used this besides math, but it's also great math. Another little counter is just little wood pieces, you know, um, just anything that they can get their hands on and count. 
I purchased the pattern block activity set and this included um, different pattern cards that you could use in addition to all of these shapes. And so as we were learning our shapes, um, we were able to use these in addition to just drawing, you know, designing some fun little hands-on fine motor skills also. The 10 frame set is a set that was used a lot. And then I have my little clock over here, but I have this abacus and on one side, we've got our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and you can also flip it over. It doesn't have anything. And so you can just go one, two, three. And so this was very good. It was a visual of where our five plus five equaled 10. And so this was fun, little quick, little tactile way to move things over. And then when we did start getting into a little bit of the positions, we would be like, we have two ones, we have um, two tens, you know, however you would need to move those over. And it's just kind of fun too. This we used a lot. Um, I don't need all of these pieces, but this is what I got. It comes with a little magnetic panel board. And so you have a 10 frame on one side and you have two 10 frames on the other side. And then it comes also with the red and yellow markers. And so again, with Dimensions Math, we used 10 frames a lot. Rather than use the Black Lion Masters that they had, we would use our own 10 frames. And so we would play different games and I would do them and then I would do a quick flash of how many. And then she would answer to tell me how many there were in addition to her just using these to put them on there we would have different games if you would put a certain amount over you would flip it over who put the most who put the least and you can also write on these and wipe them off just like you would a marker board and then we also had this cute little clock which she needs batteries but it just you can wind it around and the hour hand moves um, she would talk to you it would have a digital clock down here and this was from learning resources also there's also a little alarm clock you can put on there and it would go off like you know 10 minute timer something like that to know when class was done and so you don't have to have a lot of fancy manipulatives for sure um, just a few certain things to really get some hands on to, you know, identify what we're talking about in a physical space. And so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like some of these ideas. See you next time.